welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Porcelain and this is Porcelain's Word. So in today's video, I am actually going to be cash stuffing my tax return. So if you are interested, then just stay tuned. Guys, welcome back to my channel. So like I mentioned in the beginning, we are going to be cash stuffing my tax return for 2022 but before i get started y'all i went to dunking because i had some free points and i got that new chocolate caramel cold brew i just added cream to it y'all it's so good oh my god if you haven't tried it add cream it is so good and look it's dripping all over my little mat here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and bring out the sheets for my taxes i am gonna have it covered up so let's go ahead and get started. So um, before I even start, actually, I just want to say that um, my tax return was not what I expected it to be. I thought it was going to be a lot more. However, once I looked at how much was being withdrawn from my federal taxes, I was scared that I was going to actually end up owing the government. I have never owed the government taxes. I've always did my taxes correctly with the right exemptions and everything else. It's just that the new way on how the exemptions is, is that I have two kids. So I claim two kids on my exemptions, which therefore lessens the amount of money that comes out of my federal taxes. I didn't know it was going to like completely remove almost federal taxes from being withdrawn out of my check. But, and that was probably on my end, I didn't really look at it because I had social security and other stuff above that, that was in higher amount. So I didn't really think anything of it. And I'm contemplating on it, even if I want to keep it at the two or change it. So taxes can be taken out or I'll just add like an extra amount of money to be taken out of my check each paycheck for taxes. Um, but, I am grateful that I'm just grateful that I didn't owe, even though it wasn't what I expected it to be like last year or the year before, I am still grateful that I got something back. So let's go ahead and get started. So for my tax return, I received, ooh, <laughs> I received $4,056. And then I took away $101 because my daughters had a birthday party for one of their classmates and they got invited so i had to go ahead and get that classmate a gift and then we went to like a jump house um and they got tickets they had games in the jump house and things like that so what was left over from my taxes was three thousand nine hundred and fifty five dollars okay so this is going to be the breakdown the first thing that we are going to break down is my children's disney cruise that is what we are going to be doing for this year for Christmas. And the deposit is $500. Um, my kids binder is going to be getting $300. I'm giving myself $250. My car maintenance is getting $250. My buffer to sit in my account for any bills is getting $200. Teacher appreciation is getting $50. School supplies is getting 80. My kids' school clothes is getting 100. My twins' clothes is getting 100. Summer camp is getting 100. Easter is getting 20. Mother's Day is getting 50. Father's Day is getting 40. My debt is getting an extra car payment. And this is where I wish, uh, not I wish, I was expecting it to be a lot more because I was going to put at least, if I would've got like a $7,000 return, $2,000 would've went to my car to go as an extra payment towards my debt. However, I wasn't expecting it to be um, what it was. But again, like I said, I'm very grateful, so I'm not even gonna complain. So as long as I can put something towards my debt, that's fine. An extra car payment is not that bad because my goal for extra payments for this whole year is $1,800. So that's going towards my extra payments for the $1,800 that I wanna to pay towards my car this year. Um, home decor, I put 400. My twin's birthday, I put 262. For my birthday, I put 189. And for my general savings, I put 480 to go into my general savings. And so the total is $3,938. Um, so I subtract that. So I left $17 inside my account as a buffer. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to go ahead and stuff is my priority binder right now. All right, so let's go ahead and get the money together. So this is my cash tray and this is the money that we are going to be stuffing today. All right, so just sit back, relax, and enjoy the video while I just go ahead and get all this money together. It's probably gonna take a little bit of time, but I'll speed it up. So I have all the money together right here. Let's make sure that it's in frame and it is. All right, so the first thing that we are going to stuff is my top priority binder for this one. And um, in my breakdown, um, I wanna address the reason why I don't have my month ahead or my emergency fund in there. I have decided not to stuff these because I want to continue what I said I was gonna do, which means is that I'm giving myself grace to come up with this money for the entire year. Um, and this is something of a project of mine that I want to see into completion. So I've decided that I'm not going to stuff these. I want to go ahead and complete these as they're supposed to be completed. So that's that, that's the reason why you don't see that on my list. So the first thing that we are going to stuff is cushion in which that is my buffer. I'm going to take these out. Um, and so my buffer is going to get $200. It's going to be $200 bills. So that's one, two. So currently in my cushion, I have one, two, 10, 15, 20. And my goal for this is 300. So for car maintenance, I'm going to take this out because I'm going to track it a different way. And then for actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and keep these in here. I'm not going to take them out. I'm going to keep them in here. I'm just going to update them. So let me go ahead and bring this back. See, I always change my mind up in the middle of things. Okay. So for car maintenance, car maintenance is going to get 250 and that's going to be $200 bills and then 150. So right now in car maintenance, I have one, two, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85. I have 285 and this goal is 500. So for home decor, which is gonna be, I guess I'll put that under household. Yeah, I'll put that under household. Household, which is gonna be home decor is gonna get $400 and that's gonna get four $100 bills. So that's one, two, three, four. So currently right now in household, we have five. So we have one, two, three, four, four, oh, five. And then for my general savings, um, we are going to do $480, which is going to be one, two, three, four, a 50, a 20, and a 10. So let's make sure. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, 50, 70, 80. So that is 480, that's going to be in my general savings. Okay, and that is it for my top priority binder. All right, for my next binder, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the holidays. And so for holidays, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start off with Easter. So for Easter, we are going to do $20. And so let's go ahead and get our challenge out. And so we're just gonna go ahead and do this 20 right here. And so that is going to get a $20 bill. And so for Easter, we currently have 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57. We have $57 in Easter which the goal is 125, which I don't think I actually need 125 for Easter, but 
Um, and the next one that we're going to stuff is going to be Mother's Day and Mother's Day is going to get $50. So we are just going to color in one flower because each flower is 50. All right, and so this is going to get a $50 bill. So we're just gonna do 50 here. All right, and then for Father's Day, Father's Day is gonna get 40. So let's go ahead and add this up. Okay, so we're gonna do 13 ties. Uh, we're just gonna do 13 ties because I had just had to add it up. So we're gonna do 13 ties. Um, so let's go ahead and let's get that started. Do not mind my coloring, it is all crazy. So 13 ties, so let's make sure that we have this correct. So 13 times three is 39, but we're putting 40, so we can, we can chuck up the extra dollar. So we're gonna do two 20s for Father's Day. Okay, and for Christmas, um, because we are going on a Disney cruise for Christmas, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the money here, which would be right now for the Disney cruise. This is one that I've made a long time ago. And so we can go ahead and do these two. So since it's getting 500, we'll go ahead and color in two Mickeys and then two boats. Well, actually we're coloring one Mickey and two boats. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so right now Christmas is getting $500. So that's gonna be five $100 bills. So one, two, three, four, five. So currently in Christmas, we now have um, one, two, three, four, five, five, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22. We have 522 and this is going towards our Disney cruise for Christmas this year. All right. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Um, I didn't want this video to be too long because I do want to go ahead and continue cash stuffing the rest of my um, binders in another video because they're gonna be dedicated in their own on how I break down each of the other two, which is gonna be my personal binder and my kids binder. So stay tuned for those two videos. And if you liked today's video, please comment, like, subscribe, share it to your friends, family, and coworkers. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.